Jackie Morris um, and I write and illustrate books um, and in 2019 I was asked to write a letter to the earth as part of a project that was being organised. Um, the idea was that people who chose to could write a letter, a card to the earth, um, either a praise song or I guess some people um, wrote about small parts of the earth, some wrote about how they felt about climate crisis um, and it was a way of celebrating but also protesting about what is happening to our world. Um, I'm going to read the piece that I wrote, which is called Everything is Connected. Um, I feel very much now that if I were asked the same thing, my writing would be very different because of what has happened over the last couple of years. Um, but this is what I chose to write then, and it's connected to birds because... All of my life I've loved the shape of birds. So, it's called Everything is Connected. When I was young, I would lie, pressed to the earth, eyes wide to the skies. I would watch you in your hundreds, crisscross, hunt on the wing, layers of birds, sometimes so high, seen only as dark commas against the blue, sometimes so low to skim the reaching seeds of long grass. When I was young, I believe you carried the promise of summer sun on your wings. When I was young, I watched as you gathered mud in your mouth to build a home beneath the eaves of the houses of humans, architect, potter, parent. I watched your shadow rise and fall, heard your children call, saw you answer them with food, watched them fledge. When I was young, I marvelled as you gathered towards summer's end, small dots on wires like wild music, fast, furious rhythm written against the sky. When I was young, I didn't know the distance you travelled away from my winter to warmer lands. I didn't know how you carried in your bodies the maps of the earth, the paths of flight, scenting the land, knowing its shape, each rock and stream and tree and river and ocean. I didn't know how this knowledge was born in the egg, before egg became bird, became flight, but I knew you were a miracle, every single soul. Once, some believe you slept all winter beneath the ice in ponds. Once, some believe the earth is flat. Now, some believe climate change is fiction. But now, when I lie on my back in the long grass, breathing its scent, eyes wide to the sky, my heart lifts to see your wings, though you were so few. Each year, more sky, more space, and each single swallow more precious for that. And I still marvel to see you gather as summer scents the air, still writing your wild music on the wires in the sky but now the music is a lament more space between each note a song of praise and loss an elegy for the ghosts of gone birds and i know i cannot live without you so that was my um letter to the earth and it was in praise of swallows um who travel across borders and know no boundaries. Um, I always look for their coming in the summer, but it's harder to see their going, I guess. Um, my, my whole life is uh, seasons kind of come and go on the wings of birds. So when the swallows leave, the curly come. Um, and that's, that's beautiful. The song of the curlew is amazing. 
Um, anyway, I, I thought that the best thing that I could do was just ink some swallows onto some paper while I was reading this to you. painting um, I try I try to imagine myself into the thing that I'm painting and um, some paintings go better than others uh, one thing about birds and the flight of birds is I found that the brush really loves the shape of feathers and I almost don't have to do anything um, so long as I can be confident and make a, a single stroke it's almost as if the brush does the work for me um, the swallows that I've painted here are painted with sumi ink which is um, it's like a solid block of ink that I grind onto um, a she stone which is a very smooth grinding stone so you just drip little drops of water onto the stone and then you grind the ink and the ink smells beautiful um, and the longer you grind the ink for the blacker it will be um, I don't think I did it quite long enough with these I love it when it's really really dark but uh, yeah it's different every time and I like making my own pigments like that I love the process of spending the time grinding the ink and I love the connection that it gives me back to generations and generations of artists through centuries who also use that technique. Um, it's hard to catch the shape of flight in the mind's eye. And uh, I think photographs can be very useful for looking at how a bird flies because in a photograph you can actually catch that bird and make it still. There's beautiful film online if you look of birds uh, flying in a wind tunnel and it gives you a real idea of slow motion bird flight. Really wonderful to be able to see. And then feathers. Feathers are such beautiful things. They're, um, you know, humans, when we leave litter behind us, uh, if we don't throw things away properly, it's very ugly. But the kind of litter that comes from nature, from the natural world, feathers from birds and leaves from trees, can be very beautiful to paint. And also, such a celebration of life.